hello coders i hope you are coding well in the previous video we installed router and we created header component in our react application and in today's video we will create dashboard and no match component and then we will create a routing for both of these components so let's get started so first of all we need to create the dashboard component so we will right click on our pages folder and here we will click on new folder and we will name the new folder as dashboard and after this let's move this dashboard component inside pages and let's click on move and you can see now we got the proper directory structure after this let's right click on our dashboard folder and let's create a new file and we will name this file as dashboard.js now let's create one functional component and we will name this component as dashboard because the file name is dashboard and then we need to write the arrow function and in this we will write a return statement and for now we will return a div from here and inside this div let's mention dashboard component and after this we need to export this component so we will write export statement and we will mention default and then dashboard and with this our basic dashboard component is ready now let's save this file and after this we need to create the route for this component so we will open app.js and in this component after the header tag we need to write a tag for the routes which is coming from a react router dom and now let's close this tag and inside this tag we need to create a route and this router is coming from a react router dom as well and in this router tag we need to use the property path and because we want to create a route for the dashboard component and its path will be slash and after the path we need to mention the element and we will mention the element as dashboard and after this let's close our route tag and our dashboard route is ready and after the dashboard component we need to create a component no match so if user types something in the url which is not present in our route so we can show a page of 404 not found and to do that we will right click on this pages folder and we will create a new folder and we will name this folder as no match and after this we will right click on this new match folder and we will create a new file and we will name this file as nomatch.js and after this we need to write a function and we will name this as nomatch and we will write arrow function and in the body we will write a return statement and here we will write h1 tag and in this h1 tag we will mention 404 not found and at the end we will write export statement and we will mention default and we will export no match and with this our no match component is ready now let's save this file and let's go back to our app.js because we need to create the route for this new no match component and for this we will duplicate our existing route for the dashboard and for the path we need to update it with static and after this we need to update the element property and instead of dashboard we will mention no match and with this our app.js is completed now let's save this file and let's run our application and as you can see our application is up without any errors now let's go to the browser and you can see for by default route our dashboard component is working now let's update the route and let's write some random text and let's hit enter and as you can see it is showing 404 not found now let's click on this employees button and this should redirect us to the by default dashboard component 
and as you can see we got redirected back and that's it for this video in the next video we will create post employee component with the form